Phil again. Today I'm making a, a beautiful trifle for my son, it's his birthday, so we thought I'd do him a trifle. I'm not putting any booze in it today, obviously, because it's for the kids, but in a few weeks I'll make a sherry trifle, exactly the same, but we'll add booze to it. Right, let's go, guys. Today I'm going to be using fresh custard. I'm not making my own, it's, it's, it's shop bought. Shop bought raspberry jellies, cake, Chantilly cream and some strawberries. That's all you'll need guys. Like I said, this is a straightforward trifle It's up to you. You can make it a long process or a fast process. This is the quick process And we've also got some toasted almonds for the top Right guys, let's get to it Right guys, let's start off with the jelly. Like I said before, this is just a ball jelly with raspberry set into it If you want to make it yourself and set a jelly, it's entirely up to you But I find it easier just to use these and put them at the bottom it's about time this. We've got a party to cater for. Sometimes it's easier just to use pre-made jelly. So we've used four of them, standard fruit jellies, because every great trifle should have jelly in I feel. Some people don't like using it, but I do. Break up the jelly a little bit, put it down. Like I said, this next we're gonna lay a cake. This is a standard Madeira cake. You can find this in any supermarket. And like I said, over the Christmas period where you're absolutely busy, this is a great idea, like I said. You don't have to rush around. Everything's there for you. Let's find out the Madeira cake across the bottom of the jelly. So basically we're using this as a sealant. Normally if we're making a sherry one, we'd pour sherry on the cake at this point. But as this is for the kids, like I said, for his birthday party, because they're an absolute love trifle. Give that a good squash down, ensuring that the jelly and the cake stick together. Pour up any gaps you feel like there is there. Make sure it's a nice thing. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna put strawberries all the way around the sides. As you can see, all these are topped and tailed, pushed up, pushed right to the glass. If you've seen the cheesecake, it's the same process as that, as we did with the white chocolate cheesecake video. As you can see, we're just fanning them out. You make sure it goes around all the glass. Strawberries in the middle. Put that going there, a bit of a bit of a. Then what we're gonna do? We're gonna use the fresh custard. This is how simple this is. It's as simple as this bus pour. Same in the middle and let it find itself. These are um, 500 grams, so I bought two of them, so we have a kilo of custard there. And we're gonna lay more cake around it again. Pushing right up. Big knife out. Let's open the other custard. Again, just flood. Don't overfill this because we're going to put ice cream to this as well. But just again, same again at the middle. Let it find itself. Tap that right down as we 
dough. Right. Now we've got a piping bag with the salmon on there. This is just a simple whipped chantilly cream. Like I said before, don't overfill the custard. Let it go right up to the edges and find itself. Fill the piping bag with the chantilly cream. Try not to over whip the chantilly cream because if you get it too stiff, when you pipe it, it won't look pleasant. So you want kind of a dropping consistency with it as well. This is just 500 grams of chantilly cream. to the cream in the piping bag and what we're going to do we're just going to Bit of air in the pipe, my bag. Try not to push too hard onto the onto the custard. It's a nice decoration, it's up to you if you want to remove them. But for me, I like to see them on a the strawberry. I feel like it gives it that natural strawberry look. Just make a ring around the top of the trifle. Just that final touch because it wouldn't be trifle without some colour bones in the thousands. Well these are in the thousands but I like these ones better. There you go guys, that's my express trifle. As you can see guys, I've just finished it off with a bit of rice and sugar to give it that lovely lovely pudding effect that can sit in the fridge for a few hours to harden up. I guarantee you the kids will love that. Thank you, I'm Sheffield. Thanks for tuning in.